Hello programmers, I'm Yash and welcome to my video tutorial on Swift programming. So today we will be creating a table view and two things, we won't be using a custom cell and second thing, I will be creating table view with custom cell in my future videos. So let's get started. Create a new Xcode project, single view application, name it table view. Next, save it wherever you want, create. So on the main dot storyboard, we need to drag and drop a table view. So let's do that. So here is our table view and we need to give it constraints. So zero from top, zero from left, zero from right and zero from bottom and uh, without constraints to margin and add constraints. So if you noticed, uh, we did not uh, select constraints to margins, but still there is this white area. So that is because of iPhone X uh, and its new design. So if you wish to cover the whole area, uh, what you need to do is like, uh, like put the table connected to the like topmost corner and then give constraints. So I won't be doing, uh, I'm okay with this right now. So let's just connect this to our view controller. So table will be like company table view. Oh, I forgot to write. It's V I E. Damn. Uh, let's change it. Let's make it W and we need to right click. We will delete this. We will re-reference it again and here it is. So it's done. So let's hop over to our view controller and uh, first of all, uh, the design. What we will be doing is uh, there will be a name of the company on the left hand side and on the right hand side we will have a share of the company. I think that's good. So Get rid of this. Uh, let's give delegate and data source. So company table view dot delegate is equal to self and company table view dot data source is equal to self. Okay. What this means is uh, that this view controller can uh, will be feeding data to the table view and has rights to alter the data, like delegate means that. And uh, now uh, we need, let's first have data source and delegates. So UI table view data source and UI table view delegate. And if you see, uh, this will prompt with an error, which is like new in Xcode 9. So if you can click it and you, if you just like hit press, you will get the functions which are mandatory to abide to confirm to the protocol UI uh, UI table view data source and delegate, right? So just uh, cut that thing and remove this thing. We don't need it right now and just paste it over here. So first let's create our data. So let company name is equal to, uh, let's start with Apple. Alphabet. Uh, Alphabet is like parent company of Google and Amazon. So three A's. Uh, let's share equal to let's uh, ninety nine point ninety nine. Uh, A seven point eighty nine. Twelve point thirty four. Guys, this is random. Okay, don't get me over this. And uh, okay, so we are done with the data part. So under a uh, number of rows in section. So what basically this means is how many rows there will be in your table. So basically it will be the number of rows, like number of companies. Okay, so just return company name dot count. And under, okay. Now we need to uh, give like our, we first need a cell. So just drag and drop a table view cell. And if you click over here, like table view cell, you will see style, style select write detail and identifier will be cell. Don't forget to do this. This is uh, the critical part. People forget this and like they will shoot in the comments that this is not working. Okay, so like do give the identifier. This is important, okay? This, is, uh, this we will be using in the code. So identifier will be cell. So under view controller, 
just uh, now okay here so let cell equal to let's cell equal to uh, name of our table view which is company company table view dot dq reusable cell with identifier okay and here the identifier is the name okay the name which we just gave i'll i'll show you again don't forget to give it so click on cell you will see the identifier cell okay and it should change to cell from table view cell okay that is good a good way to know that you did it right so we now have the cell so we will just do like cell dot uh just type label you will get text label dot text and it will be a company name open array and index path dot row so what what is index path index path is uh, we get it in with the function okay this is the index path and we can use it and now we need cell dot again label and you will get detail text label dot text and this time we will be doing string interpolation and now we need is share we did this because the number is in double and we cannot like straight use the double because uh, detail text label as you read it's a text so we need string dot row okay so probably we are good to go so okay yeah we need to return the cell whoa crazy yeah here it is let's try to run it on a 7 plus and we need to give an exclamation mark there is a cell i know it so hit play and the app is running so i find this xcode 9 uh, much more better than xcode 8 so do let me know what do you think about the new xcode and it's like the new interface the like compile time and everything uh, has just bumped up so here we have it uh, this is our table view and you can see the name of the company and shares and everything so what we did now uh, what we did right now was we used a like cell which was created like pre given by apple so in future video i will show you how to create your own cell with an image with name like details you can put whatever you want from here like in a custom cell so custom cell in later uh, in future anyways thank you guys keep watching don't forget to subscribe see ya hallelujah goodbye tata that's from gujarat anyways